Hello and welcome to TM Key Film. This morning we're working with the Quinault Tribal Fishers on the Chehalis River. My job, identify, locate, and remove derelict gear on the AM side of the low tides. Nothing nicer than watching the sun rise up over the Chehalis River through these pilings. And this is a job getting in amongst these pilings, identifying with this type of equipment the location so that when we bring our team in, we know exactly with pinpoint accuracy where this derelict gear is lying on the seafloor. This morning, with these GPS coordinates, we're following along the Aberdeen Bridge, headed over to a group of pilings because we know there's a net in there. Well, as we got closer, there was a bird caught in part of that netting, and the location is just to the west of the bridge. So I was able to cut this poor bird free and I think he's going to be okay. These pilings, you know, over time tend to rot and you need new pilings. Well, on this particular river system is the piling machine. And these logs that are all stacked up at the mill, some of them one day probably will be in the habitat of the Northwest. But in our adventure, we want to know the density level of these logs. Now, we do have a concern here. One is I can penetrate into the log up to four inches with these centimeters. But that does not necessarily tell you the strength of the piling because it could be hollow inside. But we're working on a centimeter scale and we're using special filters. Now, if you look at this piece of paper here, you see just these red lines? That tells me the size of the fish or sea enemies or the depth of the wood that I'm penetrating into. And it tells me with extreme accuracy. Now, if I get the measurement out again and show you with my little ruler here and pointer, you can see how it all sizes up and we're really accurate <laughs> when taking samples, poking into pilings to see of density. And you know the neat thing about it is with these cameras, I'm able to look for worms. They have two little antennas on them and they're amongst all of these shells and the untrained eye probably wouldn't spot them. But me looking at these pilings as many times as I have, I can actually spot the worms. It's these two little antennas, and I know that that log is probably pretty hollow inside, especially the way that these worms hollow them out. I trust that this has helped answer a few of your questions. And please, feel free to get a hold of me at any time. My email is on the screen. 